So with that, we'll be happy to take any questions. Chad. Mr. Scalise, good morning. Thank you. Uh, do you anticipate an objection from your side of the aisle when the slate uh, of members for the committee, including the Foreign Affairs Committee, comes to the floor if uh, Congresswoman Omar, which I've seen the list, but just hasn't gone to the floor, if there be an objection? And if there is not an objection, would you then try to remove her from the committee? And do you think that there are the votes on the floor to remove her from the committee uh, if Mr. Stubbe and others right. are, are concerned about it? Well, first of all, the, the fact that the Democrats still haven't submitted that list, it's, it's out there. If the, the media's seen it. on your side, though, that you guys were waiting to get your no. list. No, we've we've named our members of committees. The steering committee has done its work. We're waiting on the Democrats to submit their list because we want the committees to get up and running. There are only a few committees that uh, the lists have come out from both sides, primarily A committees, the Rules Committee. But at the end of the day, Speaker McCarthy has made it very clear, and a whole conference uh, has been very vocal about the concerns to national security, both the Intelligence Committee and the Foreign Affairs Committee. Obviously, you heard with Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell, uh, that they would not be allowed to serve on the intelligence committees again because of the access to classified sensitive information that would be a very major concern and by that same regard the foreign affairs committee uh, Elon Omar we've all seen the quotes and things that she said over and over and over again as a member of Congress uh, that would create major problems if she were on the foreign affairs committee so we would if they brought that forward, which they haven't yet, but if they did, then we would move to remove but, but uh, her as well. There's a two-step process. Would you object to that on the floor, which doesn't usually happen? And if that doesn't happen, would you then... Likely not, likely not object, so but then go to separately to remove uh, her as well as, uh, as I pointed out, Swalwell and uh, Schiff and from the intelligence committees. Remove her from committee for resolution came up. And this was yeah, obviously we've, we've been talking to our members and, and pointing out a lot of issues because, you know, if you look at what we were very concerned about last Congress with Democrats removing Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar from all of their committees, this is not the same in a number of regards. Number one, they went after Marjorie Taylor Greene for things that she had said before she was a member of Congress that she denounced before she was a member of Congress. Uh, it was very personal and they removed her from every committee. Even if Omar were to be removed from the Foreign Affairs Committee, she'd still be allowed to serve on other committees. So a lot of dis uh, d big differences. And if, if Omar is concerned about being removed, uh, probably be good if you would ask her why she voted to remove Marjorie Taylor Greene and Gosar from their committees, because she did vote to do that. Yeah.